guys, how's everybody doing? Um, welcome back to another video, I guess. I'm trying to think of something else to say. I'll say, hey, welcome back to another video. I'm trying to, so anyways, bear with me. So a couple of housekeeping items before we get into today's project. Uh, first and foremost, uh, thank you guys for all your support, likes, comments, subscriptions. Uh, I was able to purchase some lighting. Uh, if you noticed, it looks, the lighting looks good around here. So uh, here, ready, bear with me here. I'm gonna give you a little, little tour here. Let's see if I can show you guys these bad boys. Oh yeah, nice and bright and beautiful lighting, some professional lighting. Set you guys back down, bear with me. So thank you guys, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I was able to purchase those guys. So I'm, I'm playing with those and adjusting all the camera settings. So bear with me in these next couple of videos as I work this out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, next on the list to get is a GoPro. Uh, I think it'll be cool to have two different camera angles, you know, different so many you could do with the GoPro uh, so if any of you guys out there have a black uh, edition GoPro Hero 3 and not using it and if you like uh, donating it to the Wildland Project I'll gladly take that off your hands but anyways no I'm, I'm saying that's my next thing I'm saving up for it so that's the first house housekeeping item uh, the second one is I am working on a website uh, the wildland uh, you can head over there right now uh, it's under construction so bear with me as I learn this whole website thing and I'll uh, have all my projects over there with ho hopefully how to's and how I cut lists and all that stuff if you guys want to build some of my projects so bear with me as I get that up and going uh, it's a lot of work you know having a full-time job and kids and all so, hey no excuses right so bear with me as I get that going so uh, I think that's it those are my two housekeeping items uh, so other than that uh, let's get to today's project. Uh, today we're going to do a little artsy fartsy, something my wife wanted. Uh, she, you know, I was like, okay, I'll put a video together and might as well It'll be fun, you know. I enjoy doing this. So uh, today we're going to be painting some wine bottles with chalkboard paint so that way you can write stuff on them and holidays. So we're going to be taking them, uh, go take you through the steps of how to remove the labels and clean them up uh, and get ready to paint them. And so that way they look like this. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Uh, so uh, let's get started. All right, so for this project, uh, you need whatever you're gonna paint. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be painting these wine bottles. Uh, so you could be wine glasses, glasses, a mirror, or something, whatever you're painting with the chalkboard paint. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna show you how to do the wine bottles. Uh, so you need that. Uh, you'll need some Goo Gone, and we're gonna use this to get rid of the labels. And then obviously you need the chalkboard paint. Uh, I picked this up at Home Depot. It's the Rust-Oleum brand. Uh, it's about, about, almost about 10 bucks, I believe. Uh, so that's what we need, and so let's get started. I'll show you how to get rid of these stinking labels. Alrighty, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, remove the label with a, um, a razor knife. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable using these, obviously these things are sharp, they'll cut you. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, uh, put some gloves on, something to protect your hands. But uh, So this is the first step what I did, is just go ahead and just scrape off So uh, once you get, I put a towel or a shirt here uh, to keep this thing from rolling. So to secure it in there. So that's that. Once you get most of the label off, go ahead and remove all that stuff. Get your towel back up there. Uh, now here you get the glue gone. Uh, just gonna, there's still an adhesive on there. So this is what you're gonna take this off with. Go ahead and just douse it and start rubbing it in and. Try to get that adhesive off. Use your razor blade as well. Did you get it off most of it? Go ahead and take your shirt. Wipe it off. Most of that stuff off. Just a little bit left. 
each wine bottle is different because the one that I already did uh, was a lot easier to come off. Uh, this one's giving me a little bit bigger the one that I, that I use for the video, so difficult. But hey, at least you guys know, right? All right, so that's good. So once, oh, gotta do the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the back, and uh, after that, I'll bring you guys back and show you the next step. All right, so I got the labels off both sides. Uh, next, we need to rough up the glass. Uh, when you, usually, when you paint a smooth surface or a glossy surface, sometimes the paint has a hard time to adhere to it and will peel off easy. So we're gonna take some uh, 150 sandpaper. I have it clamped to my workbench. You can hold it in your hand, but this is just easier and convenient. So just take your sandpaper, and all you do is just scratch this thing up. Don't be afraid. It's it's okay. It will all be hidden. So just take the sandpaper. You go this way, this way. Get it all nice and roughed up and scratched up. I know it seems weird, but it's okay. Trust me. Once you get that, take it off. Do the neck. So now it's all, I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but it's all scratched up. Take a rag, wipe it off, preferably a damp one a little bit, so get all that dust off. There you go. Now we're going to paint it. Alright, so once you bottle of sand it, wiped off and cleaned off, uh, go ahead and get your can of paint. You can follow the directions on there, make sure, as I think it says, you know, make sure you uh, stir it up and all that stuff. Grab a paintbrush and just start painting. all painted here is one that is already done uh, it dries a little bit darker uh, so that's it uh, pretty easy I got a couple more I'm gonna do got a total of four here that I'm gonna do go ahead and do those all right so that does it for this video a couple little pointers as I did those last two bottles one of them was clear you're definitely gonna want to put two coats on the clear so I would say two coats on everything for glass items uh, that way you get a good, nice, solid layer of, of the chalkboard paint on there. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll, in a couple days, I'll go ahead and post the finished product, a picture. Uh, I'm not sure what my wife's going to write on these. And plus the directions say you have to wait four days before you can write with chalk on them. So, got to reel you in, you know. So, go ahead. Links down below. Follow me, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, once again, thank you for uh, all the support. Subscribing, liking, sharing, all that stuff. Uh, I was able to purchase these lights, so hopefully the lighting is better. Uh, let me do know down in the comment section how the lighting is. I think it's better. I'll find out. I, actually, I know it's better because I can see in the, in the viewfinder there. Uh, but um, I'll find out too when I edit. Uh, so thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, so next on the list is to get the GoPro. I'm really excited. Uh, <laughs> I got a bunch of ideas in my head. It's like a little kid. <laughs> so once again, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so thank you. Uh, stop saying thank you, Brian. <laughs> uh, see you guys on the next one. Just wanted to show you this. Uh, these here are not wildflower seeds. I don't know what they, they are, but these guys were. These were nice little purple ones, and 